Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna be talking about miniature chickens. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So miniature horses, miniature pigs, miniature chickens. Yes, there really are miniature chickens. Though they aren't just a novelty, flash in the pan type of tiny animal, they've actually been around for quite a while and they have a name, bantams. And yes, you'll be thrilled to hear they come in all different kinds of chicken breeds, many of which you may already be familiar with. So what's the deal with miniature chickens, AKA bantam chickens? Well, here's the scoop on the teeny tiny counterparts of the standard sized chicken. So miniature chickens are called bantams. They weren't originally called bantams though. In fact, they were called bantam chickens because they originated in Banten, Indonesia. Like the game of telephone, the world evolved over the years and eventually the teeny tiny chickens were called bantams. So when you're specifically seeking out miniature breed of chicken, look for bantam versions because that's truly all it is. Contrary to popular belief, bantams aren't an actual breed of chicken. Instead, they're a variety of standard breeds. For example, you can have a bantam version of a buff Orpington chicken. In that case, it would be considered a mini me of the standard size. And now let's talk about the standard breeds that actually have miniature chicken versions. Unfortunately, not all standard size chickens have a miniature counterpart. Similarly, not all bantams have a large doppelganger. More on this in a second. With that being said, you can find a mini me version of the following common standard breeds. Buff Orpington, Bard Plymouth Rock, Easter Egger, Buff Brahma, Cochin, Dominique, Leghorn, Rhode Island Red, Wyandotte, and Wellsummer. Keep in mind that this is not an exhaustive list. In fact, there are over 400 bantam varieties to choose from. Now, about those true miniature chickens, also true bantam breeds. While many bantam birds are simply miniature versions of their standard counterparts, some breeds are specific to bantam sized birds. In other words, you can get them in miniature size, but you won't find them in the standard size. Here are a few common chickens that are considered true bantams. The silky Belgian bantams, many varieties fall in this category. The Japanese bantam, the Nankin bantam, rose comb bantam, and Sarima Bantam, and on and on goes the list. Now let's talk about where to buy miniature chickens. If you got your heart set on the mini me's of the chicken world, you can find them in some of the most prominent hatcheries in the US. Additionally, fanciers are an excellent resource for these itty bitty birds. Often breeders are laser focused on breeding, developing the Bantam versions of the standard breeds. You can seek out these breed specific breeders on social media, classifieds, or a thorough quick Google search. Additionally, there are dedicated associations for some breeds. You can easily find breeder referrals through these organizations. Now, let's talk about caring for miniature chickens. While the mini chick requires all the same amenities as a standard chicken, there are a few extra considerations and precautions to take as a bantam owner. Number one, bantam breeds need more protection. Since these birds are pretty tiny, they're at the bottom of the food chain. They're easy pickings for aerial predators and small ground predators. So if you're considering free ranging your bantams, tread carefully. While bantams don't have to live in confinement, they probably are safer if they do. Number two, miniature chickens have separate living quarters. It's a possible to keep bantams with standard side chickens. Still, most experienced breeders will tell you that it's best to keep your bantams in a separate coop. While the bantam is unaware of its small size, its bravery may get it into trouble with the big chicken in the flock. A brave bantam rooster will not fare well against a Jersey giant rooster, for example. Additionally, due to their compact size, the bantam tends to get pushed around, and in some cases, he is the last to eat. So to keep the playing field fair, it's polite to allow your bantams to live in their own mini community. All right, number three, miniature chickens will need less feed to keep on hand. This is actually one perk of keeping bantams is that they will go through less feed compared to the standard size flock of chickens. Keep this in mind. It's possible to keep less feed on hand, which in turn will keep predators and pests from entering the coop to eat the stockpile of extra feed. And lastly, number four, the eggs are tiny. Bantams lay eggs just as the standard chicken would. That being said, eggs are laid less frequently than in the traditional breed. And as you may have guessed, the eggs are smaller in size. So if you plan on eating your Bantams eggs, just plan to use more in your baking project to make up for the difference. So to summarize, Bantams are a fun miniature chicken and they are often kept as pets or companions rather than as farm animals. In fact, many people enjoy the company of their small chickens on the inside of their home. That's not something I necessarily recommend, but hey, more power to you. If that's something you're considering, just just make sure you've got the right ventilation set up and a good cleaning regimen. Some of the smaller bantam versions aren't that much bigger than a household parrot. Miniature chickens are a fun version of our farmyard friends. They're fun, ornamental, all while bringing the eggs to the breakfast table. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.